Hey guys, Patriot coming to you once again. We're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off with the WD-40 LTCI versus Brake Free CLP test. In front of me, I've got a brake rotor, which I think will uh, give us some very consistent results. The reason why, we've got a large, clean, relatively flat surface to work with, and I think our results or our, our test will be a little bit more consistent uh, overall. Uh, brake rotors are very high carbon steel. It doesn't take a lot to get them to rust. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and uh, get going here. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I've just poured a little bit of this Coleman white gas or lantern fuel on the brake rotor. And what we're trying to do here is, you know, before rust is come, becomes visible on metal, it's actually happening at a microscop happening at a microscopic level before you're even able to see it. So I'm taking a little bit of steel wool and we're just going to go around this brake rotor and I'm just going to spend a little time here making sure that we get a consistent result and any rust that may have started on this rotor it just came off the car so um, the brake pads kept it pretty polished but we're just going to go ahead and ensure there's no rust on here. So I'm going to spend a little time doing this and I'll be back. directly on the paper towel and I'm just gonna keep wiping this thing until I'm not getting any more black off of there okay guys as you can see I've roughly divided this into thirds it's not exact it doesn't have to be so I was thinking about doing it in quarters at first and making standard WD-40 one of the measurements but I thought let's stay on track we'll do a control we'll do a break free and we'll do an LTCI. So I've got lots of extra gloves here. I'm going to be applying the chemical with a cotton ball and changing gloves and going on to the next chemical. First, the uh, Break Free CLP. This is a fresh bottle. It's been shaken. Uh, both, both chemicals have been shaken up. And let's go ahead and start on this side. I think right side we had CLP last time. It's amazing how that tape stuck to the brake rotor. It was like a magnet. Just that clean prepared surface and that micro texture. The, uh, the stuff really latched onto it. Okay, so we got a full coating here. We'll go ahead and put some more on. And now I'm going to take a clean cotton ball and just lightly Make a couple of passes here, just to pull off any access. Okay, that looks very uniform and even on there. Looks good. Okay. And here we go. Okay, that's definitely going on a bit thinner than break free. Okay, take a clean cotton ball and dry this off. Going the same direction with the fibers. Okay, that should do it. A little harder to see this one, but the, the coating on this is definitely a bit thinner.
hey guys, there's a reason that I've picked this spot and why we're not under a cover or under the patio or something like that. I didn't want to induce an artificial result here or affect it uh, in any way manually. So I decided we're just going to let nature do its thing. You know, we've had monsoons in here about every other night. We've had a little light sprinkle, uh, nothing, no, no kind of, nothing like a downpour, but just a sprinkle of rain, a lot of moisture in the air. Uh, I've got direct sunlight baking straight down onto the uh, rotor itself. That'll heat this rotor up pretty hot. It might even draw the chemical into the pores a little bit. I mean, uh, whatever, whatever it's going to do, it's going to do, but we're just going to run with it that way. I got sweat dripping in my eyes. It's July here in, uh, in Arizona, and it doesn't get a, hot, a whole lot more extreme in the world than uh, July and August in Arizona. It's, it's roasting, and we've got 40% humidity here today, which is pretty high for us. So uh, the other reason that I've uh, selected this area is because I've got a block wall here that is in the sunlight most of uh, the day up until about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, this thing is just baking with heat radiation. So this will reflect some heat back down onto the rotor. We've got sunlight, we've got the natural moisture and the monsoons. And uh, I think this will be a pretty fun result or a, a fun test. And it will be very interesting to see the results. So thanks for uh, uh, watching the first series with me. And I hope you stay tuned for this one. If I can provide daily updates, I will do that for you. And uh, we'll just run with whatever we got. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Take care. Okay, you guys, we got a little uh, light sprinkle earlier in the day, and you can see the rust that's happening on the control surface. You can see that beating or that beating up of the brake free. Maybe it's because it was on there a little bit thicker. And over on this side, it looks pretty smooth, not a lot of effect. Anyhow, just a little update. Hey guys, we're about 36 hours into the test see a lot of orange a lot of rust happening on the control so far so good on the brake free side and the WD40 LTCI doing good so far all right guys we're about four days in now you can see substantial rusting hasn't rained in a couple of days but I can tell that this uh, rust has gotten a lot worse on the CLP side looking pretty good I see a lot of water spots over on this side, LTCI, still looking pretty good. Not a whole lot of difference between them. So, boy, if there's any question whether or not uh, the brake free and the LC, uh, LTCI do anything, as opposed to the bare metal, there you have it. Okay, guys, we're about uh, seven or eight days in now. I kind of lost track, and I missed a couple days. Three of the days that this was out here, it actually rained, and you can see how wasted <laughs> the... The, uh, the naked rotor is here where there was no treatment. Over here we had the brake free CLP and it was actually doing really really good until this last rain. There wasn't any detectable rust that I could tell. In fact I thought that it was actually beating this one because I saw some of these water droplets on the LTCI side start to have like an orange color. Now this one did not have that until I came out, you know, after the last two uh, days of rain, and so, um, you know, you can see there's a dramatic difference looking straight down on the amount that this rusted, but I know it's hard to tell now, but you can see during the progression that this was actually much worse, the untreated portion of the rotor, than was the CLP. And you can see that, you know, it's still not nearly as bad as the untreated portion, but it didn't keep up with the LTCI. It definitely did better. Okay guys, once again, the scientific part of this test ends right now. So I think we've got a, a very good result. LTCI was definitely the winner, uh, which was, was not really apparent until the last two days and the last rain that we had. But uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and try to clean a little bit of this off with some CLP and a cotton ball. And oh yeah, it's, it's permanently, uh, well, actually it is working a little bit. Use the other side of the cotton ball. Add a little bit more here. Okay. Well, there's uh, the the surface rust has come off, but it's definitely etched from the corrosion. It's definitely eaten into the metal and etched into it, so it's way beyond just surface damage. 
Okay, here's the area I just cleaned. And you can definitely see that it's pitted. It's etched in. And that would require steel wool or 3M pad or something like that to bite down into the metal. But at the same time, we're removing finished metal. So that wasn't apparent from the other angle. So that's why I'm showing you this. All right, let's try the other one. Actually, I don't even know if this is going to be in the video, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is uh, much more superficial. Um, this has an etch down into the metal. You can see it's just rubbing off. Very orange. Wow. So, yeah, there was rust floating on the surface, but it did not penetrate. This is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this test. I did not expect this. I have been uh, blindsided by this test a couple times. So, pretty cool. Look at that. I'm going to give you a close up shot too so that you can see that. Okay, for reference, here's the untreated side. Here's the side that I wiped off with a cotton ball and LTCI. Here is the side that's been permanently etched. And that's the, uh, the CLP. I might try the LTCI on this portion right here. This brake rotor is in great shape underneath. Um, there is no permanent etching, at least not that that the eye can detect. I guess if you looked at it under a stereo microscope or something like that, you'd probably see something, but it is very clean. So let's go ahead and try the LTCI on this portion here. All right, and let's see if there's any difference. Kind of acting like the LTCI or the uh, CLP. Um, not a big difference in the way that it cleaned up as far as how readily it came off. Both sides are scored. It's been etched and pitted into the metal right here. That's uh, very apparent. So there you have it guys. That's the uh, finale for the LTCI WD-40 versus the Brake Free CLP. And it, a pretty surprising difference. I didn't expect that level. Especially because I've been filming this every day and it almost looked like this, like this side was losing out. <laughs> that was just two days ago because I saw the rust floating on top of the drops this one I didn't see that. So anyhow, there you have it guys. That's the WD-40 LTCI versus CLP. And you can see the difference there. I think that this was a, a fairly true to life test and uh, I did, there wasn't any influence with the way that, uh, that I did this because it all happened naturally and I applied it very consistently. So thanks for watching guys. Patriot out.